Being in Nicaragua has been a wonderful experience. It's always great not only to see the people and the culture, the, uh, the beautiful attire, the, the majestic uh, volcanoes and forests, but to be able to take drives out into the countryside and see where World Vision is making real impact in the lives of people is just so, so, so satisfying. You know, we spend uh, week to week to week out traveling across the United States talking about World Vision, talking about children. But being able to be here and see the children, have them sit on your lap, hear their stories as they stand with great pride and self-esteem and tell you how World Vision has provided this and that and as a result, they've taken it with their own energies and they've created a change in their life. Here we're at a local farm, uh, which is a part of a greater organization, a co-op of individual farmers that are planting alternative crops, being trained by World Vision on how to uh, fertilize and how to rotate their crops, and then provided the, uh, the materials to put their product in bags, properly weighed and labeled, and taken to market. In the past, people from town would come in and would buy their their, their beans, for instance, and for very little money. But now, as a co-op, they can package their own materials, take it into town, and sell it for a much higher price. And so, uh, it's just wonderful to see men and women working together. Uh, this local co-op represents 21 families. Um, five of those families are women, either widowed or single mothers, that are running their own acre or acre and a half a plot of land and they bring their product in, contributing it to the co-op, and are able to provide for themselves and for their families. So it's just really been great to be here. Uh, very humble people, very appreciative, and at every, every turn, they're saying thank you, thank you. We couldn't have done it without someone seeking us out here in the rural areas of Nicaragua and providing us a vision and tools to accomplish something that's life-changing. So it's just a thrill for me to be a part of World Vision, to be able to see what's happening here on your behalf. And I know that if you were here, it would make an impact on your life. There would be no question that you could give up a, a soda pop, you know, once a day to be able to make such a global impact on a community and on real people's lives. So I hope that you'll consider being a partner with Joni and I as we sponsor a child and that you too will make that commitment in your life so that you can be reminded that your world isn't all about your own little personal problems. Your world is about sharing and helping and lifting people up as Christ did. That was the heart and core of his ministry.